Hello there, today we have Mr. Skeleton with us who will help us study the types of amputation of the lower limb. So, starting with the hip bone. So, if we remove one of the hip bone, we have basically removed half of the pelvis. So, this type of amputation is called hemipelvectomy, removing half of the pelvis. And it is also called total hip removal because we have completely removed one of the hip bones. And it has one another name. Uh, as there are four limbs in our body and we have removed one of it completely with the hip bone even. So, and the limb removed is hind limb. So, it is called hind quarter amputation because we have removed a quarter of the total limb. So, it has three names, hemipelvectomy, hind quarter amputation and total hip removal. The next amputation which we can do is this remove and uh, this articulation of the hip joint. So, if we do this articulation of the hip joint, it is called hip disarticulation and it can also be called complete thigh amputation because we have completely removed the thigh. Then we can do amputation through this femur bone and if we do amputation through this femur bone, it is called transfemoral amputation and it is also called above the knee amputation. And it can also be called partial thigh amputation because we have partially removed the thigh. Then we can do the disarticulation of knee joint called knee disarticulation. And it is also called complete leg removal or complete leg amputation. Then we can do amputation through these tibia and fibula bones. As tibia is the main bone, it is called transtibial amputation and also called below knee amputation more commonly. And it can also be called partial leg amputation. Then if we keep the tibia and fibula bones and remove this foot, so then this amputation is called sense amputation. Now moving a step downward, if you place the foot like this and chop it off like this so that the heel is left, the talus and calcaneal bones are left but the tarsal bones uh, have been amputated. Then this is called the art of chopping or the chop art amputation. Now the foot of our skeleton is not much accurate so we have moved to this atlas. So, we just did amputation at this level which was called the chop art amputation and this was between the talus and calcaneal bones and these tarsal bones. Now, next we can do amputation between these tarsal bones and these metatarsal bones at this level. So, this is the joint which is called tarso metatarsal joint and this amputation is called Lis France amputation. You can remember it by thinking that Miss France is stuck between the tarsal and metatarsal bones. So, this is called Chopart and this is called Lis France amputation. The next amputation we can do is through these metatarsal bones, it is called therefore transmetatarsal amputation. And then we can do amputation at the pharyngeal joints, which is called toe amputation or phalangeal amputation. Thank you so much Mr. Skeleton for helping us out. Goodbye.